Hello guys and welcome back by another first look. This time we're looking at my universe, doctors and nurses. Curious. I hope this control, these controls are fine. Wait, what? In the game you're playing as the doctor and the nurse. You can freely switch between your characters. Watch out. Sometimes can only be completed by one of your characters. Oh. This is made for the mouse and so far, so I'm happy with that. Let's make the doctor a female. Um, none. Let's make the nurse a male. Uh, okay, and none. Fine, you look like brother and sister. Yeah, let's, let's just do it. Day one. My first day. Okay. What's up, bruh? Hello? Oh, hey. Oh, I'm so nervous. You are not alone. Hi, I'm Dr. Davis. And I am Nurse Alex. Nice to meet you. Likewise. So, why are you worried? Hmm, where to start? It's my first day in my first job in a new city. My heart's beating like a drum. Don't worry, I grew up in this lovely town. Most of us are really nice. Thanks, that helps. Wait, what do you mean by most are nice? Um... Anyway, guess what? It's my first job too. Let's make sure to leave a good first impression today. Oh, hello. I'm head nurse Eleanor. Jeez. You must be the new student, nurse and doctor. I'm glad that you will be finishing your medical training with us. Oh, look at that little turtle. Alright, um... Good morning, everyone. Hi. Greetings. Good morning, everyone. All the new students. Listen up, newcomers. Welcome to St. Valley Hospital. I am Dr. Carlson, Chief Physician. I am responsible for students like you. And this is my turtle, Snappy. We are investigating why some machines are broken at the moment. With everything that's going on here lately, I don't have much time for you today. So let's take it slowly on your first day. Each of you will get some simple tasks. First, feel free to look around at the, the hospital until your first patient arrives. Alright. Can I walk with WASD? Yeah. Alright, I can walk with WASD. I just tried the interior designer that will not let me walk with WASD. It was so bad. I cannot rule out. Oh, this is the operating room. Look, a patient just came in. New arrivals required a checkup from the doctor in the examination room. You should go there now. Uh, uh, um, sir? <laughs> Where's the examination room? Oh, it's over there. Let's follow the blue, blue arrow. Alright. Hello, um, sir? Hello. Good morning. I'm Dr. Davis. Good morning. I haven't seen you at this hospital before, have I? You're my first patient. Uh, you mean today? No, I mean ever. It's my first day. Okay. Never mind. First tell me how you feel, then I will add your system to our medical exam. Later, I will match your symptoms with the disease from the medical handbook. <laughs> Jesus. This is not what you want to hear when you come back there for the first time. Listen to the patient complaints and find out what upsets them. Look at the complaints carefully. Control the exact statement and record a symptom. I have a runny nose. I don't see that. Okay. Okay, minor injury. Object swallowed. No, no. 
That is what it is. Common cold. <laughs> Don't worry, it looks like you're just a common cold. But I need to confirm my diagnosis. We want to make sure it's not anything more serious like pneumonia. Okay, I guess that's what you get for shining in the rain and singing in the rain all night. Don't worry, you feel better in no time. Alright, we're done here. I'll meet you in the ward at the first set scope scan next. Okay. Oh, it's all X's. How do you say you made it? Oh, because the X become red if you don't make it. Oh lord, who are you now? Are you coming inside while I'm here with a patient? Oh, I don't like you already. Well, well, well. Look who we have here. My old rival from med school. What are you doing here? Eden Pierce? I just started my internship at St. Valley Hospital. It seems like I can't get rid of you. It doesn't matter. The top student this year is gonna be me. <laughs> we will see. Yes, we will. Okay. I don't like your attitude at all. Oh, am I interrupting something? Uh, Chief, no, don't worry, we're done here. Okay. It seems like you already finished your task. Good, good job. Yes, sir. Then it's time to go to the wards. The patient is waiting for a doctor. Okay. I like the way it looks though. The ward is probably over here. What I thought was operating room, but it's probably... Uh, oh, it is the operating room. But I can just go skadoodle uh, through it, I think. Yeah, I can. <laughs> Alright. Logicky. Is it over here? Hello? No, it's not over here. I'm sorry. I'm in the wrong room. <laughs> are you following me now? What are you doing, dude? Okay, here it is. Here we are. Hello, sir. I'm back. Welcome to the ward. I'm going to use a stethoscope to listen for strange sounds in your chest. Okay. Take a deep breath. I will check different areas on your body for anything that sounds wrong. Let's do it. Sorry to interrupt. I see you have already started the procedure. I'm sure you remember how to use a stethoscope. But anyway, here's a reminder. Hold the stethoscope over key locations on the patient's body. If anything sounds strange, it's probably important. Make sure to select it. Examine the front and back of the patient. Just ask them to turn around for you. When you finish the strange sound, finish the, when you find the strange sounds, finish the exam. Well, this is like good for a patient to hear, like a head doctor, say that to a first student doctor. <laughs> Alright, sure. It's not gonna work over your thing in Bobby though. Well, that's not right. It sounds like you have a sore throat. And the diagnosis is right. It's just a common cold. Please go to the pharmacy. A nurse will mix your mediation medication there. Uh, Alright. See, now I did it right. The other one I didn't get up jack shit, dude. Oh, why did I hold it on top of... Oh, bye. Hello, I heard a patient was looking for a nurse. Oh, do you mean my patient? I sent him to the pharmacy. Okay, there. thank you. So, I'm in the wrong room. Yes, but don't worry, I got lost too. Well, that's right, it's your first day as well. How's it going so far? I am not sure I'm worried I might make some mistakes. How about you? Pretty much the same. I hope everyone will like me. Being new sure is exciting. Yes, totally. I shouldn't keep the patient waiting. I'm on my way to the pharmacy. See you later. Lord, there's a lot of talking in this game. Alright, bruh. Bum, 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 bum. Let's go to the pharmacy. 
Um, there you are. I was going to send the search party after you. I'm sorry, I got lost. I kept the patient waiting. I see you're a bit too late for this patient. I already mixed his medication. Hi. Hello, I'm sorry for being late. Are you feeling alright? Well, the doctor said I have a common cold, so not really. I'm just sorry, but there's something we can do to help. Indeed. All right, Bernard. Here's your medication. Thank you. Can we help you with anything else? Yeah, well, can you tell me when I can sing again? Don't worry. You should be fine in a few days as long as you take your meds. Really? Good. My neighbors will miss my daily 7am song. Oh, Lord. Oh, sure they will. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. And rest your voice. It's nice to see you getting along with the patients. I think there is another patient asking for a nurse in the ward. Why don't you take a look? Alright. It is way too much text for me. To be fair. Bye. Oh, I just came from here and I need to go back here. Hello. Can you help me? I have a condition. It's called deodorant, I think. Maybe you mean dehydration? Oh, that's it! The doctor said there was a very simple treatment, but I don't remember what it is. I know exactly what you need. Wait here. What, are you going to give her an IV or just a, a bottle of water? I mean, just drink if you're of dehydration. Deodorant, really. I despise people that are so fucking stupid. Honestly. I think I'm just going to get, like, a drink. Yeah, see, this is just getting a glass of water. Mm. Alright, I got an empty cup of water. Even though the cups in there are yellow, I got a red and white one. I got you my special cup of water, girl. I hope you like it, and if you don't, suck it. Oh, and by the way, it's empty. Mega, here you are. I got you some water. It's so refreshing. I hope you're feeling better now. Yes, whoa, drinking plenty of water sure is important. Thank you for taking care of me. Oh. What was that? I don't know, it came from the hallway. Maybe Dr. Davis can see what happened. Uh, someone just flipped over and bumped their head on the floor, probably. I don't know. Hmm. Hey, Doc, I could use some help here. Sure, what happened? I wanted to buy another soda, but it didn't come out. Kicking and shaking the machine doesn't help. If I drink too little of it, it makes me feel like a weirdo. Um, that's not healthy to drink the sweet stuff all day. But anyway, I'll try to get it out. Alright, jammed. Maybe I have to shake it as well. Yeah, let's try it. What are you doing? Oh man, you broke it. Oh my. Admit it, you did some purpose. No, I just... You did that because you think soda is unhealthy. Confess, right? I'm taking a break. And I'm going to get some soda from the bargain market before I run out. Hey, Dr. Davis, what happened? I heard a janitor ranting and swearing. Yeah, my first I'm already messing things up. Uh, well, the vending machine really looks broken, but you aren't a mechanic. We all make mistakes. Dr. Carlson will be angry with me. Hello? Were you listening? But no, sorry, I'm a bit on the edge of my nervous moment. What did you say? That this is not the end of the world, it's just a machine. Aren't you exaggerating a bit? Yes, but, um, I was always, I mean, my parents have high expectations, I have high expectations. Training was never an option for me, you know. Sounds like a permanent stress. This cannot be healthy. Hello, you two. Oh, hey, Dr. Carlson. Dr. Carlson, um, how do I say it? The vending machine. I know, it's broken again. What is going on? 
Oh my, I'm so sorry. For this old lady? We already ordered a new one a few weeks ago. There is something else that concerns me. What's wrong? You might have overheard that there is a patient who has been waiting for a doctor to get checked up at the GP's office for a while now. What? Sorry, sorry, I'm on my way. <laughs> He's like, okay, bye, girl, bye. A doctor is needed at the GP's office. A patient is waiting there to see a doctor. Well, good for him. Um, To be honestly fair, I'm in it now for 15 minutes. Uh, I was planning to play it a lot longer than 15 minutes, but I'm fed up with this game. It is literally so many storyline. No, no, no. I, I kind of like it, but it is way too much story. Way too much story. So I'm going to end this. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys liked it. And I hope I'll see you guys in the next one that I make. Bye-bye.